So in this experiment, we're going to be measuring the resistance of resistors, both in series and also parallel. So I've got a couple of resistors here. These ones are identical, and I've just covered up the value of these resistances. So we can actually work that out in the experiment. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect it into a very simple circuit. Um, I've got uh, my cells here. I'm actually going to be using just two of them because we're going to go up to a maximum, I mean it says on here, a maximum of four volts. So I'm just going to use two of these. Um, and we've got an ammeter and a voltmeter. So the first thing I'm going to do is just connect one of these resistors um, into the circuit and I'm going to put it just with the ammeter. And this allows me to check that the ammeter is working, that all of the wires are working, and that this resistor is working as well. So we can see when I do that, that we've got a value of 0 0.26 or 27 amps. Okay, so we know that the circuit is working so far. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to connect my voltmeter in parallel to the resistor. And this gives a reading of 2.68 volts. Okay, so we've got the current, we've got the potential difference of the voltage, and that means we can now ca calculate the resistance of this resistor. So if you want to take a record of these readings now, I'm then going to take this resistor out, and I'm going to replace it with the other resistor. Now this is the same value, so these readings should be similar. And we can see that this one is fluctuating between 2, 4 and 2, 5. So it's really your judgment about which value you use. So we've now worked out the resistance of these two individual resistors. We're now going to see what happens when we connect them in series. So to do that, um, just to make sure that I don't get confused with the wires, if I just take the voltmeter out, what I'm now going to do is just uh, put the two resistors like this going to connect them up with this wire and once again now they're in series we can see there's a reading on the ammeter and if I put the voltmeter in parallel this is the reading that we're going to take. So what you can now do is you can look at the total resistance of this combination of resistors in series. Now the last thing we're going to be doing is looking at resistors in parallel. So again, once again, I'm going to take the voltmeter out. I'm just going to disconnect the resistors. And now I'm going to connect them up in parallel. So it's just worth taking care, keeping an eye of where all of the wires go. So we can see now we have a higher current uh, because we've got these in parallel. And I'm just going to put this across the terminals here. Okay. Um, so now we've got 2.46 volts, and that's going to be across both of these. And we've got a current of 0 0.47 or 48. So we've now got readings for the current and the voltage. And we can now look at the total combined resistance of this combination of resistors in parallel.